Okay, right here, I'm going to sh show you a little surface. This is not a cord branch. So just follow me here. It's not a solid core branch from the beginning of that tree is life. And that tree is um, over two feet you're seeing there. You're probably seeing around 26 inches wide there. So this branch is pretty big. Give us the impression that it's fairly old, okay? And then you see right here if you look at its lines of life right here, and if you looked at them right here and stuff, you'll see they're depleting out right around here. So if you look at how much it's in the tree, it's not in the tree at the center growth of where that really did grow from. It's more of a sucker branch system. Heavily wounded around the tree here because the skin is the part that's kind of making these lines. It's the newer growth that's making those lines. Hence, they lots of times are thick on the bottom because of that. And that's that new skin from the heavy growth from the younger of the, the lower part of the tree coming up that can do a good binding growth. And lots of times they really get thickened through here. And it's part of the scarring to get them to thicken through here. And it's a part of the structuralness that some of these branches really do need. Because they don't have much core strength. Because it's not even official core. You can see that. It's part of growing with the mechanism out here. It's not always growing on a full core. It's partial cord almost in a way. This top cord almost in a way. You see how the lines just all keep r running straight here. They're not circular for a long time, maybe to not into here. I think that will help you a lot. Why I walk the dangers of night of owl attacks. So this is the tree. Here's my hand. Working on healing up coverage on that to be like that. There's a good one that's under work there, and they're doing fast work on it, I believe. It's a nice donut there.